Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, August 31st to September 1st intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Cappy Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Capricorn, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, the information can be found in the description box below. I'm going to grab some cards here, Capricorn, and then get a channeled message just for you. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Okay. What's uh, happening here? All right, one more card. Oh, geez, three more cards? Ah, my favorite card. Okay. So, Capricorn, we have the Four of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Magician God, and Temperance. Yep, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. So, let's get this message here for you, Capricorn, and see what's up for you. Stay focused on what it is that you want to attain, Capricorn. Don't lose sight of it. The minute that you lose sight of it, they're saying you're, you're going to lose your, I want to say balance, but it's not quite balance. What's the word? It's like you're, it's like you're get up and go for whatever it is. They just said, get up and go. So try to stay focused on whatever it is that you're doing so you don't lose that drive. It's really like drive, right, for it. Okay. Don't let any, okay, don't let anything deter you off track to get you to look, you know, it's like distractions, right, distraction. No. Okay, thank you. All right, so something could be at a distance with the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's been some introspection going on with the Four of Swords. You could be healing from something physically, but you could also be meditating a lot, going in within, right? Seeking that heart space, trying to manifest because the magician is directly under it. So that is the card of Gemini. You could be thinking about a Gemini or just trying to figure out what it is that you want to manifest. What are you passionate about? This could also be talking about a new love, a new passion, right? Whether that be, well, see, that's just above the Knight of Cups. So there could be an offer that you're wanting to give to somebody, a love offer. There could be healing surrounding this offer because there is the Four of Swords and the Temperance and the Three of Cups, which for some of you, it could be a reunion, but this doesn't necessarily have to be somebody from the past. This could be a reunion of souls, right? This could also be something that you're celebrating. This could be a new passion that you're celebrating that Spirit was talking about. Whatever it is that you're focused upon, um... This could be celebrating with family and friends, right? But I am feeling it's a reunion, either a past life soulmate reunion or a reunion from this life because there is a love offer here. But let's clarify. It's going to be different for everybody. What are you going within about with this four of swords? Six of Wands, it could be regarding a Leo. But it could be...
Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands. Okay, whoever this Queen of Wands is, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be just somebody who exudes this, which is somebody with confidence, somebody that goes after what they want and they usually get it. It is the mistress of the deck. Now with the six of wands here, this is somebody who could possibly be seen in the public eye if it's not you, but it, it could be in the community for doing something. It could be um, at work for achieving something. Um, but this is just victory and it's victory after sort of a battle, right? Which would make sense with the three of cups there. Yeah. There's a revival of this, I'm feeling, with this death card. There was an ending of some sort with this individual. Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is you taking your time here. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Truth and clarity. So you may have been taking your time, okay, for this because of truth and clarity. You're going within. You're seeking that truth within the self, within the soul. You want to be clear on your vision for the future. Ooh, Seven of Swords. This is clarifying the Ace of Wands. That's a liar, cheater, thief. There you are, Capricorn. Queen of um, Pentacles. Hmm. That's the card of Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart. Four of Pentacles. Holding back. You could be saving your money for something. Okay. So now there's apology. There's an apology. A new cycle wants to begin. Somebody may have lied, cheated, stole in the past. Or you could be deceiving yourself in relation to a, a new love offer. This offer. Clarify the Seven of Swords again. Yeah. Yep. Two of Cups. So it, you could be deceiving yourself here. Running away from something um, that you're passionate about. Yep. Shit. <laughs> you can't get any fucking deeper than this. This is definitely a strong connection because you've got soulmate twice here. There's something that's coming in between because the lovers is always three. Doesn't have to be romantic. What's coming in between? What's coming in between? Ha, juggling. Juggling. So it is somebody romantic. Somebody's juggling two people. This could be why the Seven of Swords is there. Tell me about the Magician. What is it that you want to manifest? Queen of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or somebody that is exuding these traits right now. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. And that's somebody who's intuitive. Yeah, you've done a lot of introspection on this, Capricorn. You've thought about this. You've thought about it. Yeah, well... Maybe you aren't thinking too much. With the Nine of Swords here, that's a lot of anxiety. Tell me about this healing. Okay. Here we have Cancer again. Could be a Cancer with the Chariot and the Three of Wands. Something's at a distance. Something, somebody's at a distance. There is a spiritual connection here. Oh. Could have been a Tower moment or a Tower moment's coming. Ooh. Yeah, Knight of Wands, player energy. All right, what is, how does this person feel about Capricorn? Let's go there. Now, the Knight of Wands is somebody that is constantly in and out of somebody's life. It's, you know, player energy. So, King of Pentacles, Taurus Energy. This could be a twin with the Four of Wands here. This is how they see you, though. Okay, they could be seeing you as somebody who's building their foundation here with the Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles. 
working on your coin. Ooh, anger. There's some anger and jealousy there. But they see you as their happiness with the Leo card. What is your advice for Capricorn? What's your advice for Capricorn? What's your advice for Capricorn here? Communicates with the Knight of Swords. But be careful of how you're communicating. Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing. Divine timing is at play here. Something's being like... There's some sort of struggle going on here. Either you're experiencing because there's that two of pentacles here. So this could be a struggle in your mind, a struggle in your environment. Yeah, there's walking away. Yep, being stuck. Yep, you got a lot going on. So I do feel divine timing is at play. Um... A lot of that is coming out today. One more card. This is also karma. So some may be receiving karma. Soulmate, past life energy. I think all in good time, this is going to happen in divine timing. So whenever it happens, it happens with whomever this is. And for all of you, it's going to be different, right? So go within, seek that truth and clarity. You'll know when it's time because spirit, you know, divine guidance will tell you. And you don't say no to divine guidance. Not with something like this and this. Try to say no. Go ahead and do it. All right, Capricorn. I hope this helps you. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading with me. That way, this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. That way, you get notified whenever I upload a video. You have yourself a fantastic day, Cappies, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.